But it looks like we're going to end up with Consulate again. All right, a rematch. Now, last time that yeah. didn't go their way, the uh, Sonic's way. It was 7-3 Dark Zero of the power of cameras on this map. Although we did see a fair amount of IQ play as well earlier in EU to try and compensate for that. It is a rush trap, but unfortunately backfiring Neptunes goes down as well. Three down already, and wow, a trade back. Maybe try to super bring this game back. There's fire headshot from Nixon, PC on super. All right, that's a way to start. North America, that's the excitement I've been looking for. Maybe that's Thermal. something to look into in the future. And okay, Neptunes walks in, finds hot and cold. The Maestro camera is watching, and Hyper will find Goddess. That's something here to slow down. From behind his opponents, though, he'll find one kill. That's Neptunes out of the picture. There's one in yellow, and next we'll find another one. And BC as well, the last alive again. It's the gridlock here. Super will find one kill, turn to 1v2. Left. He can cut off rotations and smoke for a plant, potentially, but it's not going to matter because Nick's just going to take his face off. Nick's happens, and he yeah. plays the flank super well, rotated back to the site from uh, the service stairs. Well, Neptunes tries to push in. Hot Cold actually misses that shot. Oh, there we go. Catches yeah, he one. finds one. Oh, close to the second. But the Sonics are actually in, at least inside of the building. Ghost will find another on the Nyx, and the preparation for Dark Zero is still happening. They're not done inside just the wall yet. here, but the service stairs. Super watching. He finds it. Hyper's down on the floor. Takes damage, but Super eliminated. And it's meant to be Super as BC finds Avian. And that's the end of the round. Dark Zero. Stop yet another rush from the Sonics, and they put a third round on the board. All well. right, they they picked the, the bomb site that most <laughs> is rushed. And then you know the garage rework was definitely something. Oh, that worked well. Oh my, Finally. Neptunes! What a shot on Hyper, and he wins it out. Nix will come around. He's running, and he finds the headshot. Neptune's taken away. More than enough to finish him off. Avian throwing one. Grenade into the back, but won't do much. Actually, it will down Mint. And Super will find one kill. Nyx, Super's already on the site. And he finds it. Oh my, what a headshot from Super. Turns around and goes to the plant. Ghost walking in. The Meister's trying to do damage. You're solo on HP. Super will be down and taken away thanks to BC. And another one. Oh man, Brandon Carr on the Maestro. He can do it all. And he can hold his phone in a very awkward way. But here we go. Neptunes like, uh, finds it. So how do you how do you predict oh. him coming up? Well, he gets shot instantly. BC well, is just holding on. What can what can you do against the shield? BC, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Mint right there. It's such a powerful position. Oh, one more shotgun kill, and finally Avian will find the kill here. The refrag, a three v two, and Avian with one, but Nix will go for the plant and Ghost asking. For, let him plant. Okay. Just let him. Come on, guys. Oh, oh. Mint, he finds one kill and possibly the second. No, he gets dropped. No damage done to Goddess there. I appreciate them bringing the Jackal this time as well to be able to track down some of those players. How, Ooh. how do you deal with that? No, these angles. Benefit of Castle playing, but your feet are exposed while you do that, so. The Castle himself now downed, and there's still some Inox charges left for Super to use as well. It's been deployed and won't do any damage as Avian will take quite a bit, but finish off Hyper. It's a 3v2 now, half HP, but oh, he's disrupting Super here as he comes around from the back. Oh. He's done. The track pads for this one. Super finds it. BC is down. First round. The Sonic's finally put up around on the board. Counter oh, utility that Darkster's got to deal with. And of course, BC's the first to subject. Oh, Super's jump out. I, I think there was an okay trade. Took out the nades. There might too, I guess. That would have been nice as well. But Changing oh. max. Maybe for anyone playing above in piano and things like that, pretty common thing. And just not even looking the right way. Ghost, unfortunately. Good thing he stimmed up Avian. 16 seconds left. This could absolutely work for Sonics until that. Well, spotted Mint will find the kill. Avian will connect to Hot and Cold. He still has some time left here. Eight seconds in, but Dark Zero. Overwhelm the Birdman. And that's Dark Zero. That take the round. 6-1. One away. Again, I don't think the points are really... In. Close by the table, Avian shot down, the headshot, presence here. Close to his pulse, but the site is actually open here. You, the Ash Slither. You come around from the back, Super finds Mint, takes him out. The call though has been made, so information all up for Dark Zero. One more kill for Nyx, he finds a headshot, Super. Can he find the ace? Nyx is looking for it, goes in for the 1v1. But Neptunes will win that out, not for long. Round eight is done, hot and cold. Secures the kill, and that's it done.
I got to imagine Nyx was really hoping to close out with that ace right there. But, See that. you know, maybe it would have been a good idea to bring some roam denial in the case of like a gridlock or something like that. But it, it didn't really matter just because Nyx just went in and just... Good evening, Nyx. How are you? Congratulations on your victory, 7-1. It's pretty good here when you come in from uh, the first half of the season, right? Yeah, definitely, Milos. How you doing? I'm pretty good. I, I saw you guys have a new wall up with some nice stuff. Why is yep. my face on there? Um, I don't know. You just, you're a good-looking guy. We just decided to put it up, and uh, I don't know. You're going to have to ask uh, our owner about that. Moi? Me? I'm so flattered. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, again, I don't know how much we can comment on this game. I understand things from uh, Sonic's perspective, but for you going into it, uh, Consulate, was it pre-planned? Was the strategy against them just ready there just to execute? Um, we knew that, yeah, we knew that the map was going to be Consulate, either that or Border. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we just prepped how we prep for every other game. Um, Odd watch, you know, saw what they were doing. We uh, prepared just how we always prepare, and just came out and played our game. So we didn't really, we didn't really look into what they were doing too much. We just thought if we just play our game and focus on what we do best, then we'll come out with a win. So yeah, and, and you definitely did. Now this puts you way ahead of the the competition. Uh, EG Reciprocity is the upcoming game, and I really want to ask you because you're at 19 points now. Uh, is <laughs> there any team that you're rooting for in that game? Uh. No, not particularly. I think EG Rec, or they're both really talented teams, and I'm actually really excited to see how that game plays out. So, yeah, you're getting closer and closer to Japan. Who knows? Maybe that spot will be yours. Um, general question: Anybody you're afraid of in the second half? Because we've seen teams, you know, they go for a fantastic first half of the season and then kind of walk through mud every now and then in second, and then end up not being able to qualify. Uh. No, there's no team in the in the league that we're scared of, uh, per se, but there are teams, you know, every single team in uh, in North America are very talented. TSM obviously just took yeah. uh, DreamHack Montreal, and uh, they're seventh place PL right now. So, you know, just because they're seventh place doesn't mean that you should be taking them lightly. They're a very talented team. Um, SSG, with, uh, with their new roster change, uh, look extremely strong, too. So there's a lot of really strong competition in North America right now. We're just going to keep focusing on us and... Uh, keep improving every day and make sure that we can maintain this number one spot. Yeah, and I, I've seen your facilities uh, from what Bacon has uh, tweeted as a picture. That bathroom that you have is the size is bigger than the studio apartment I used to live in back in, in university of only a couple of years ago. So, yeah, it's pretty darn crazy out there. It's, everything is bigger in the USA. But anything you'd like to say to your fans at the end of this, I, I guess, fruitful day? Um, you know, thank you to all the Dark Zero supporters. We really appreciate it. Um, you know, stay with us on this road to Japan. We hope to come out with the uh, with the spot. So thank you to everyone. All right. Thank you so much, Nix. Congratulations on your victory against the Sonics 7-1 at the end of the day on Consulate. Good night. Thank, thanks, Milos.